I've heard some people say, wait a minute, you've got to reward people, otherwise they wouldn't work. Well, if that's the case, let me ask you a question. How often, when you received your salary, your warrant, you took it and said, your self-doubt was, thank you, employer, for rewarding me. None of you did. And the reason why you did not is because rewards in the usual sense, in terms of driving somebody to do something, is not what you do when you're employed. Employment is a social contract. You give your expertise and you get compensated for it. Let's not confuse employment by bribing kids to do something which is basically the opposite side of punishments. Why I don't use either. Rewards say, what do you want me to do and what will I get if I do it? Punishments say, what do you want me to do and what will you do to me if I don't do it? Now, I am not opposed to punishments for adults, for justice, retribution, fairness to people who are not good members of society, away from society, to be incarcerated. I don't have any problem with that. But let's take a look at the theory behind punishment for young people. You see, if you think an 8-year-old is an 18-year-old, then you may treat them the same. But punishment with an 18-year-old basically is saying as follows. I need to hurt you to teach you. I need to harm you for you to learn. And I simply don't believe that. I want to prevent my youth from being, youths from being incarcerated as young adults. We have two million young adults incarcerated already in this country, and we don't need any more. And I'm suggesting to you that if you empower kids with responsibility and letting them in on how to develop good character because it's going to be good for themselves using the race responsibility system, you'll have fewer kids incarcerated. Again, I'm not against all rewards. I'm not against all punishments. I just don't use them because the approach of the discipline without stress is so much more effective working with young people.